What's up guys, Nintendo Enthusiast here. So I just came across this big sale on the eShop, and I don't normally make videos like this, but these sales are just too good not to talk about. So without further ado, let's check out these sales on the eShop right now, in the US specifically. First off, Spiritfarer has been a game that a lot of people have been loving lately. I haven't gotten around to playing it, I plan to because it's on Xbox Game Pass, so keep that in mind if you have an Xbox, if you wanna play it on Game Pass, or you can pick it up on Switch right now, for 33% off for $20. Then we have Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle for only $20, and this is the deluxe edition. The base version of the game, unfortunately, is still full price, but you can get the deluxe edition at $20, which I think is a pretty good deal. I put a few hours into this game. I didn't love it like a lot of people did, but I plan on getting back to it one day when I'm in the mood for a game like that. And $20 is a pretty good deal, so I might just pick it up right here. I actually uh, played it on my friend's account that's on my Switch, because thankfully you can do that on Switch. You can just log into your friend's account and play their games. Then there's Scott Pilgrim that's on sale a few dollars off. There's only one day remaining, so you might want to pick this up if you are interested in it. This is sort of a cult classic nowadays. It got taken off of digital store shelves for a long time, and it's finally back, and it's on Switch, which is pretty awesome. Then we have Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. I personally love Assassin's Creed Black Flag. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. Even if you didn't like previous Assassin's Creed games, this is my favorite Assassin's Creed game of all time. And Rogue, it's kind of just more of the same. The story is really good. I didn't like it as much as Black Flag, but it's still really great. And for $10 each, that's a really good deal. Only one day remaining in this sale. Then there's the recently released Immortals Phoenix Rising for $30. We did a review on this channel and a graphics comparison with the Xbox Series X version if you want to check that out. Or no, it was the Series S version versus the Switch version if you want to check that out. And 50% uh, off is a pretty good deal for this game. It came out, I think, late last year, so it's still like pretty new and a lot of people love it. I haven't gotten to play it yet. I actually have it downloaded on my PS4 and I'm probably going to check it out later this year. Then of course, Mortal Kombat for $30. I wouldn't recommend the Switch version. It's just not up to snuff with the other versions. If you're gonna play Mortal Kombat, I would check it out on other platforms. But then we have South Park, The Fractured Butthole. This game is amazing, I loved it. And this is the deluxe edition. Once again, that's usually $90 at $22.49 right now. I think this is worth it. This is, this is the best type of game to play with you on the go, an RPG, and a hilarious RPG at that. I highly recommend this. And I also recommend checking out the original. I'm not sure if that's on sale, but it's also really great. Now, right now, there's a bunch of Square Enix games on sale, and Final Fantasy VII is only $8 right now on Nintendo Switch. I really like the port job of this. They basically just enhanced it to HD, and they added a bunch of quality of life changes so you can, like, speed up the combat, and you can just basically put it on don't lose mode, and you can just fly through the game and experience the story. That's also perfectly fine if that's how you want to play the game. It's a really good story, and I highly recommend checking out this game. I'm actually making my way through it right now. Over on Xbox, where it's on Xbox Game Pass, I'll try to mention the games that are on Game Game Pass that are also on sale because I always try to talk about Game Pass when I can. I know it's not Nintendo focused, but it is a hell of a deal. So I'm going to bring it up for all the games that are on there that I know are on there. Bulletstorm, a lot of people love this game. I put a few hours into it. I did not play the Switch version. I played it over on PS4 and it's only $12 right now. That's probably a pretty good deal. I haven't finished the game, but from what I played, it was a lot of fun. The entire Harry Potter collection is only $13. That seems like a good deal if you love Harry Potter games. And here's one that I'm really tempted with, which is Persona 5 Strikers. If you've been following the channel, then you know I did a graphics comparison with the demo of Persona 5 Strikers, but I still haven't got around to playing the game. And I know it's kind of weird because I love Persona and I love Persona 5. I just haven't really been in the mood for this style of game lately. And there's just constantly new games coming out. But when I see this price tag, it's so tempting. I'll probably end up picking this one up because I love these characters and I love this world. Anyway, keep on heading down. Final Fantasy 9 on sale for $10.49. That seems like a really great deal. Also on Xbox Game Pass, along with Final Fantasy 8, which I already purchased on Switch. That's probably the same as Final Fantasy 9. Unfortunately, I can't see the price, but I assume it's around the same as Final Fantasy 9, which is like 10 bucks. Uh, let's keep on scrolling down. There's a lot of stuff in between these that aren't that great. I've heard good things about Shakedown Hawaii. That's half off right now. That seems like a pretty good deal. Runbo. My kids love this game. My son plays this game like every single day, basically. I've spent way more hours than I ever anticipated playing Runbo because of my kids. But uh, yeah, it's a really great game. It's it's just so much fun. It's, it's a great party game. I think it goes up to like nine players. 
Um, head on down. Keep, keep, keep on looking. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. This is a really fun fighting game. I'm not even usually into fighting games, but I thought this one was a lot of fun. As you can see, I purchased it over here on Switch. Uh, I picked this up on a really cheap sale. I think it was like $4. I wish I could see the price on here. Let me see if I can see it whenever I go into here. I highly doubt you can. Uh, no, I can just click redownload. So unfortunately, I can't see the price of some of these. <laughs> That's That kind of sucks, but if you're interested, definitely go check out the eShop and see if the price is what you want it to be. More LEGO games on sale. That seems pretty cool. Uh, heading down, heading down. Hope I don't want to miss anything big that I care about. Uh, Night Trap, sort of a cult classic nowadays. Uh, I've actually heard good things about Pocket Mini Golf. This, this seems like a lot of fun. I'm, oh, it's only two, it's only two dollars right now. I'll probably definitely pick this up, I th and I think my kids will like this, so I'm probably gonna buy that. Um, Aragami, I've heard good things about. Uh, Abzu was really good. I just played that on PlayStation. This is a really beautiful game. I highly recommend checking it out. It's pretty short, so I'm not sure how you feel about paying for like really short games. So. You might not want to spend the money, but it was on PlayStation Plus a while back. If you picked it up on there and you haven't played it yet, I highly recommend playing it. I, I took forever to play it, and I actually really liked it. Uh, Final Fantasy XII, currently 50% off. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's $25. Seems a little high for such an old game, but, you know, a lot of people love this game. I've never played it, unfortunately. Uh, there there's a handful of Final Fantasy games that I still need to get to, and it's kind of insane that I haven't played them. Because I love JRPGs, I just it's just so funny that I haven't got around to playing some of the biggest ones out there. I'm sorry if you hear my my puppy barking in the background. She's pretty loud, and she's barking at my wife. Now, let's keep on heading down. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I know there's some good ones down here. Like, you're probably thinking, well, all the good ones will be at the top. No, it's not true. There's some really good ones down here that I just haven't gotten to yet. Golf game on sale. I honestly didn't even know 2K21 was on Switch, so that might interest you. Keep on heading down, heading down. Some of these some of these might interest you, so at least you can look at them. Um, I don't have an affinity for any of the games I'm seeing, except this one. This game is amazing. Catherine Full Body. This is from the same studio that does Persona, and it's a totally different style of game. It's not a role-playing game. It's not a turn-based game. It's a puzzle game where you're making your way up these stacks of cubes, and I know that sounds strange, but... It's actually really intense and really awesome. But the thing is, is even if you don't like the gameplay for Catherine, the actual puzzle sections, you can fully skip them in this version of the game. And then you're probably thinking, well, why would I skip them? That's that's the game, right? No, that's not all of the game. Catherine Full Body is an amazing story game where you're basically hanging out with your friends at the bar and you meet this chick and the main character, Vincent, ends up cheating on his girlfriend. And then that's when things start getting really weird and the gameplay portions actually take place in his dreams where he's trying to decide, should he tell his girlfriend? Should he keep cheating on his girlfriend? All the while, this girl's kind of crazy and she keeps texting you all these suggestive photos and you're like, I don't know what to do. And Vincent is a really likable character. He's hilarious. The writing is so good in this game. And I just can't recommend it enough. Catherine Full Body is amazing, even if you skip the gameplay sections. I would say for the story sections alone, $25 is worth it. Honestly, I would say $50 is worth it, what the original price is. Because this is one of my this is honestly one of my favorite games of all time. Highly recommend. Now, keep on going down. I don't I don't know. Oh, Oceanhorn 2. I wish I could see the price. Okay, so I looked it up on my phone. Right now, Oceanhorn 2 is $22.49. It's usually $30, and it's fantastic. If you love more classic linear 3D Zelda games, this is a game you should definitely check out. It's fully inspired by Zelda, and it is not afraid to show it. And I really liked it. It was originally an iPhone game, which might be a turnoff, and the combat is pretty stiff, but the world's really charming, the puzzles are really interesting, and it's, it just feels like Zelda, and I, and I love Zelda, especially the linear 3D Zelda games. Loved them. The Switch games weren't the only games that I wanted to focus on today, because there's also a mega sale on 3DS. Yes, you heard that correctly, over on 3DS. I'm gonna go ahead and mention the sales right now that you could be getting. So a bunch of JRPGs are on sale right now on 3DS, and I'll just go down the list and I'll show them to you. Etrian Odyssey Nexus is $20. Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond Myth is $15. Etrian Odyssey 4 Legends of the Titan is $10. Etrian Odyssey 2 Unfold the Fafnir Knight, I don't know if I pronounced that right, is $10. And Etrian Odyssey Untold the Millennium Girl is $10. But that's not all, everybody. We also have Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronologically, is currently $20 on the 3DS eShop. And here's where it gets really spicy. Shin Megami Tensei 4 is $10 on 3DS right now. 
That's a hell of a deal right there. And also, Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse is $15, Strange Journey Redux is $20, Devil Survivor Overclocked is $10, and Devil Survivor 2 is $10. And lastly, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Soul Hackers is $10 as well. What's up guys, I'm sure you can tell this was an audio pickup, but one game or two games I forgot to mention that are on sale are Persona Q on 3DS, which is only $10, which is a hell of a deal. I loved that game. It was awesome seeing those characters again on 3DS. And then Persona Q2 is $20 right now, which is also a really good deal in my opinion. But yeah, I recommend checking out at least the first one because I loved that game. Anyway, back to the original me that was talking. So there's a lot of Shin Megami Tensei games on sale right now, really cheap. It's really awesome. I'm probably going to pick a lot of those up, even though I probably haven't touched my 3DS in like a year. But it seems like a really good deal. But I feel like I got most of the important ones out of the way. I definitely recommend checking out Catherine and South Park and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, all those Final Fantasy games. If you, if you don't have Xbox Game Pass, pick them up on Switch. Like I said, they have some awesome quality of life features in there where you can basically breeze through the game and experience the story if that's all you want to do. And then of course, the big one, Persona 5 Strikers is currently, I think almost $20 off. I think it was like, like $18 or $19 off. That's a really solid deal. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of these sales down in the comment section below. Do you plan on picking up any of these games? And if you want more sales videos, be sure to let me know as well. I love highlighting some of my favorite games. And this was pretty fun to just go down the list and talk to you guys. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.